Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Oh, this is week 21 in the um, 20, let me get my little paper so you can actually see it, in the 2023 crossword collage. And we are at week 21. And <clears throat> I'm using this hashtag on Instagram to post my collages. Uh, and also in my YouTube hashtags. So if you want to see, a, take a look and see everything that I've done, you can. I also have a playlist um, that you can go back and take a look at these. So I have my crossword puzzle book here, and this is the page we're going to be working on. But first, um, yeah, first I want to thank everybody for joining in. I hope you stick around. I think most people that are popping in are enjoying the videos. They're fun. Um, if you do want to play along and collage a crossword puzzle, uh, there are no prompts. You can put your own um, you put your own titles in or anything that has to do with the collage that you are creating. So I'm going to set this aside because first I've got some images today out of this book here, and I want to share it with everyone. Now. I normally use my um, vintage pattern paper gals. And seeing that it is the beginning of November, that to me is sweater weather. And I didn't have any gals um, over my little box that had any type of sweater or anything um, on because they are, you know, sewing with fabrics. So this book was sent to me. This is the Daily Mail, What Every Woman Should Know, Le Lifestyle Lessons from the 1950s. And this is published in the UK. Um, you cannot get it in the States. I tried and tried and tried. So there was a gal that I used to follow on Etsy and on Instagram. And she had some really nice paper packs and things that she handcrafted. So she sent me um, this book. Um, she had shown it and I had asked her where I might find it because I can't get it in the States. So she went ahead and she just, out of the kindness of her heart, sent it to me. And I absolutely love it. So I went back at that time, at that point, and I made a nice purchase in her Etsy shop. Um, and I hope that the glare, I'm going to stand up and flip a few pages here. But I wanted to show you this book because it really is awesome. Um, and these are all images and photos from, obviously, the 1950s. So I thought I would take some images out of this book and work in the crossword puzzle um, this week. And this is just a really cool magazine. And I do, I do not want to cut it up. So what I did was I um, scanned it and I printed out a some images for the crossword challenge. Um, but there's Queen Elizabeth, some beautiful photos of her. And sorry about the light here, my big spotlights. And, and this, is a, this is a glossy style um, page book. But I have read many of these um, pages in here and the articles are very very interesting look at that bathing suit isn't that cool I, I think this is Gina Lola Brigida and of course we know that's Audrey Hepburn I think this is um Oh, I can't think of her name. Uh, she was killed. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Gina Lola Brigida, Audrey Hepburn. Um, 
oh my gosh, I can't think of her. Her daughter plays in a crime show. And I can't think of, isn't that, that'll come to me. But I just can't think of her name right now. But aren't these images fabulous? The clothes, the hair. There's Elizabeth Taylor. So I'll be able to, there's um, Queen Elizabeth again up in the right corner. Um, I'll be able to, you know, have some fun with this. I'll make some um, scan a lot of these images. Look at those bathing suits. Aren't they fun? And it's quite thick and it's just full of beautiful, beautiful images. A few ads. So if you live in the UK, um, you might be able to order this book if you're interested in it. And it just has amazing, amazing images in it and really cute articles. The articles look like they've all come from newspapers, um, the way they have them in here. So I just wanted to share that with you, that magazine, because it's, it's really, really fun. So from that book, I took, and again, I'm just using my scraps, and that's what you should be doing when you're creating one of these collages. Um, I found this scrap paper here, and I want to make a little pocket on this side so I grabbed that because I thought that would kind of be pretty to go over here on this side. This is the um, page that I scanned and I printed out um, because all three of these gals have really cute sweaters on, woolies and all the trimmings. Um, this is actress Gertrude Lawrence. So this must be Gertrude. Must all be Gertrude. This must be all Gertrude. So Gertrude is going to grace my pages today. Then I took out some smaller little pieces of ephemera that I thought would go, we'd be fun to collage with. And I grabbed these um, Dayton Yellow Cab stickers. And I just grabbed this little book here with some little writing on it. So I thought we would have a play with this. And I have to figure out I didn't pull anything for to these words up here. Um, and I haven't even figured out what I want to write on here. I'm just kind of jumping in with both feet. So I thought I would, I'm going to leave the white on here. And I thought what I would do is just kind of fold this so I have a little tuck spot. on this opposite page here. So I'll have a little tiny tuck spot there. This I can bring up just a little bit. And then I'm going to have to obviously cover this here. So I thought what I would do is I would cut this out here and put that on this side. Um, so I'm going to cut Gertrude out first. I'm going to get all of these clipped, clipped and cut. And I hope everybody is having a great day. And you're all, you've all been able to do something crafty. 
something, something, something crafty. So yeah, that'll work out up there really well. So I'm going to, because this has a white line around it, a little border, I'm going to take just a little bit off and I might be able to follow that right up around, maybe. We will see. Um, and that just about does it there. And I'm going to have that. Maybe what I'll do is I'll cut this white off up here and just go with that um, gray stripe. Whatever you find pleasing to the eye, basically, when you create your collage. That's all that matters. And then I will not need all of this. So I think what I will do is I'm just going to rip a little bit. have it like this and I want those flowers to show so maybe if I take it right from here to here that would be good Yeah, I think that'll be just fine. So I'm going to move this aside and we'll get this glued on. Hopefully my glue isn't got a bubble around it. Yep, and it's clogged, of course. It is, but it isn't. I don't, and I don't understand that. And I'm going to put just a little bit here. So that will go like that, All right? this back over here and then I can put I can put that right on there okay that'll work out really well and we'll put a little bit of glue here and then because this is going to be a tuck I got that hole there so I'll go like this this here, that there, and then on this side, right there. And then I'll be able to tuck something in the side here. All right, now we'll get this glued down. got thinking, am I making a pocket or am I making a tuck? <laughs> yeah, and then I can do this, right, because it's tucking that way. Okay. I want to get too overzealous with the glue.
there. So we'll let that dry. And now I have a nice little um, tuck spot right in here that I can put something in. And so if you have a scrap, I mean a piece of paper that you'd like to use, but like this, it had the um, funky cutting out of it or the rip and tear, just find another little piece of ephemera and then um, fold it. You can make your tuck and you'll, you'll be good to go. There. Okay, so that's good to go. Okay. All right. So on this side, maybe I can find a real pretty piece of um, washi tape to go up there. Um, or I could incorporate this somehow as well. We'll see. I'll set that up over here. So for my ladies, my pretty little ladies, again, I don't know. I haven't even thought. I just kind of dug into this. But I haven't even thought of a, um, a saying or anything like that. But I'm going to get... I'm going to get these gals cut out and I'm going to, we'll just, we'll just snip, cut, and chap. Um, there's not really too much going on around here. It's getting colder. Um, I've been trying to get through a book, but it's, it hasn't been easy. Um, just a lot of distractions, and by the time I get to bed at night, it's a little bit later, and I've been doing more reading of other um, books and, and items, so I haven't gotten to my, my nighttime reading book. But the weather is definitely, the weather is definitely changing. It's definitely getting colder. Um, I'm not looking forward to snow at all. I had to get, I had to get new tires because um, one of my tires was low on air and when I took it down um, to the tire warehouse or you know the tire company and I had him look at it I didn't realize um, he said yeah he goes you have a plug in your tire and that's where the leak is it's leaking around the plug and I'm like I got a plug I had no idea I don't even remember um, ever having that tire plugged and I said something to my son <laughs> at lunch today and he said yeah mom he goes remember you know so and so did it they just got done washing your car and they noticed that your tire was leaking and they found a nail in the tire you're on your way back from Cleveland I'm like oh geez I don't remember that um so I got four new tires on my car which is not inexpensive in the least. Um, she's cool, isn't she cool? She's a cool, cool gal. And then in what, a few weeks, we're going to be celebrating Thanksgiving and um, gosh then it's Christmas And these gals here, I just printed out on regular old typewriter paper, copy paper. Um, 
I didn't bother to use a um, heavier gauged paper, anything like that, because I knew I, they were just going, you know, in this book here, and that's fine. I'll be, you know, gluing them down, and so I'm not... I would probably use something different um, if I these were going in some sort of junk journal or if I, you know, if I was making this for my girlfriend or something like that, I'd be using a little bit different paper, but um, I'm just fine with the, the copy paper. I had a migraine early this morning and I'm still not feeling up to snuff. Um, but I don't have the energy really to do anything else around the house. Um, but when I got up this morning, I, I asked my husband, I'm like, are my eyelids, because I didn't even look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> I usually put eye drops in my eyes the minute I have to, the minute I get up in the morning. Um, and I, I didn't look in the mirror and I asked my husband, I'm like, are my eyelids black and blue? And he's like, no. I'm like, okay. Because when I get a migraine, oh, where'd my, you know, my gal stuck to the bottom of this and she just fell. Oh, I'm being put to the test. I am being put to the test. Oh, there she is. No, she's under my desk. Um, when I, what am I going to do with her? She's holding up, looks like an oar. Maybe I could just use these two. I'm not going to worry about using her. Um, when I, if I get a migraine behind my eyes, I just literally, oh, I, for hours, I will just press as hard as I can my eyelids, my eyeballs, <laughs> because it just hurts so bad. Um, and one time I, I did give myself black and blues. I had black and blue, black and blue eyes. So I do have to be careful. I want to see that yellow cab company. And let's see here. There's so many different ways that you can collage. And when you get used to collaging a certain way, it's kind of hard to um, do it another way. I don't know if you find that. I do. I find that challenging. Because I'm, it's just a style I'm, I'm not used to. Um, it's just a style I'm not used to. So I'm just going to play here a little bit. down a little bit maybe to have the print there like that and then I can get one maybe it goes this 
this way. Kind of like her. Oh, over here like this. See, everybody tells me, oh, you you make collaging look so easy. <laughs> but, um, like I said, if I'm not used to doing it, it's been a while since I've collaged, collaged like this. So... And what this is, is it's just a different style from the surreal or, um, you know, working with the Marguerite Miller prompts. So I just have to think. I like that pink there because it's, it, she, I like her, I like that around her like that. Now maybe what I can do is do it like this because I don't like that flat part of her arm showing there. So we can have her like that. Looks like a little halo around her. And I like this typewriter because I think it just sets the mood. Um, and this, always be lovely. I can put this, I can put this over here. That would be pretty like that. I think that would be nice. Um, maybe I could incorporate that up there somewhere or I could take this and I could put this one under her arm like that. Maybe that's what I'll do. So I think the first thing, I'm happy with that. I like that. I'm not going to... Um, embellish anything or distress anything I should say not embellish um, so I'm just going to kind of put this I'm going to tack it down and then I can pick it up and flip it over and then just have a really good glue have a glue party then and I think this, hold on here, is this a sticker? I don't know if this is a sticker or not. It might not be. I thought when this bent, it looked like it might be a sticker. I don't think so. Oh. can't tell and I don't want to ruin it. I think it is a sticker, but maybe not. No, I don't think it is. So we're going to glue this back together like this. Okay. Just like that. What did I do? Have it this way? I had it this way, didn't I? Yeah. So we're going to glue this down like that. That's like that. And then I think this is a sticker, but I'm just gluing it. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that little tiny black part off there. when I flip this over to clip it. This I'm going to put this down first. All right. 
Oh, and we got to put that on. So let me get this down here. Did I have it all the way over to the side? I think I did, didn't I? I don't know. Yep, that's good. Okay, all right, so there's that. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna cut a little bit of this off here I'll get that little bit of black out of there because I don't want to see that okay so that's better and then I want to we're going to get this on here right so I just need to cut this down and I can do this from this side so let's move this out of the way again. And I hope some of these little tips and tricks, I don't really know if they're tips or tricks, but it's just little things I do. I hope this helps you when you go to create a collage and um, And when we, when you you know you're ready to play with your paper and because I think it doesn't matter how many times you see somebody do it or you know once in a while you'll you'll forget you know like oh I forgot I could do that or that's a good idea I didn't think of it or oh I forgot to you know that I can you know, put something in here after I cut it out. Um, so it's just a nice little way of helping your fellow crafter out. And I'm just cutting this down so it's not so bulky to glue on there. So that's a nice use for these little pieces of ephemera as well. Um, I might put one right there, you know, to finish it out because sometimes I just I don't know what to do with these I'm not really good at um, figuring out on some of this little ephemera that's been sent to me through some of these little box kits um, I just can't wrap my head around what to do with it I know it's terrible isn't it I just I don't know Okay, so with that little tiny bit of writing back there, that makes it a little more interesting as well. So now, let's bring this back over here. Um, I hope I was in camera for everybody. So now we can glue this on here because this collage, this is done. This is a pretty little collage. And I think everybody has their own style of collage. Um, and that's what makes collaging interesting. 
um, because everyone has different takes. Everyone has different styles. You know, it's like I said before, it's, you know, everybody doesn't dress the same. Um, everybody doesn't eat the same food. So it makes it nice when you see all these different collages. There. And you kind of get to learn everybody's styles and you can pick them out um, when you see a page. And a lot of times, uh, it's just by what um, what uh, the subject matter that you choose. You know, that's your style as well. I think I've got. I think I have enough here glued down that that's not going to interfere with anything. So the only thing I have left to do. I have to figure out a saying, and um, I'd like to put sweater weather. Um, let's see if we can fit sweater weather. That's a tongue twister on here. But let me see if I can find a, a nice piece of washi tape that I could put across the top there that would go with this paper here. Okay, so I pulled some washi tape. This is a this is a green, and I'd like to maybe match something that goes, I'm just going to pull this out, yeah, attach it to my desk and just pull it right out. That kind of goes with the green, but I don't know if I like that. That's an option. Um, I have this black that might go. Get this attached. I always attach it to the top of my desk and then I roll it out. This has black and blue on it. That might go. That might be lovely like that. I like that. This is a green. This is going to be too green, I can tell, even before I take it out. And this is a, well, look at this one here. This is a, these are creams and kind of like a goldish color that might go with that down there. There's some gold over here. Let's see what this one is. This is another, I like doing this book because I have a tendency to use more washi tape in it. Um, and I use the washi tape a lot in my scrapbooking. I really like, I like using the washi tape. Mm. And that one. No, I think I like this one here, the, the black, just because of the, the crossword puzzle. So I'm going to take this and we're going to rip aside here. That didn't work, did it? I'll just rip this here. And do I want it this way? With that little bit of flower? Yeah, I think I'll do it this way. Okay, and I'm just going to tack a little bit of glue because this, this washi tape is not all that sticky. And I don't want it rolling up or coming up. Okay, 
All right, so that's down. All right, and I think I have, oh, and I'm going to take this. Maybe I'll take a little bit of this and put this over here as well. I'll rip and tear this. I'm going to put a little bit there, and I'll put a little bit right here. That kind of worked out well, didn't it? There, and that adds a little bit more. And I think I'm going to take this and I'm just going to glue it um, right here, and then I'll still have that tuck. And then that way too, I'll know that there's a little tuck here. And I didn't put glue there. I, God, I didn't put glue there. Okay. All right. Okay, so I've got this here, and like I said, this is going to be a nice little tuck spot where I can put something in there, and I've got a little bigger piece of paper that, well, a little bit smaller would fit because I did glue that, but you get the idea. I can put a nice little piece of paper or a note or whatever in there. Maybe I can even make a little journaling card with her on it and tuck her in there down the road. But we've got a nice little tuck spot here. And then this page. And I think, I think I have enough room right here for sweater weather. So let's just double check. Yep. That worked out well, didn't it? <laughs> for not planning it. There, sweater weather. There. I should get I should have migraines more often. I see, see things seem to be a little bit easier for me when I do. So that is this week's um, crossword collage, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you stuck around for the the end, thank you. I appreciate it. Your viewing um, does make a huge difference to my channel. I'd love to have you comment. Um, let me know what you think about this week's collage. And if you are participating, um, I hope you're enjoying it. I just think it's a really fun little challenge. Um, yeah, and that's it. I want Again, I want to thank everybody. So if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know each time I post a video. And for all my returning viewers, big hugs and kisses to all of you. Um, I appreciate you and I thank you. So have a great week, everyone, and I will see you in my next video. All right. Bye-bye.